All right, here in China, electricity-powered vehicles may be the key to cleaner air throughout the country. Beijing is now making another attempt to test the market by subsidizing 500 cars to qualified consumers. Now, five years ago, the city took part in a trial but sold none. It is now hoping that heavy incentives would motivate potential buyers, but environmentalists are calling for long-term sustainable solutions to make these cars more marketable. Our Teresa Siu has more. The manufacturer is hoping the EV150 could help bring more blue skies over Beijing. Our cars have no emission and are environmentally friendly. It is quiet riding. Under a proposed scheme, buyers could own the model at half the retail value of about 250,000 renminbi. To encourage sales, the central government will subsidize 60,000 yuan. Beijing government will support an equal amount, and the car's creator will subsidize 20,000. So we have to find how can we balance the subsidization and, and the price and uh, help the customer to familiar about the electric car, to encourage them to buy electric car. Yang says while this is critical to better air, it's overly limited since only 500 first-time car owners could enjoy the incentives. He says car manufacturers must boost quality while collaborating with the government to make the idea more receptive. The vehicles must be affordable to average consumers who are skeptical about its short life and high prices. So without government subsidies, the price of electric cars may seem high, but car makers are hoping that in no time that these cars could become a common sight in China. The country wants 5 million energy-efficient vehicles on the streets by 2020. Worsening air quality creates a huge market potentials for world-renowned car makers who are eyeing for a slice of the pie. Teresa Siu, CCTV, Beijing.